All right, back in Luke 10, the parable of the Good Samaritan. On one occasion, an expert in the law stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? What is written in the law? He replied, how do you read it? He answered, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself. You have answered correctly, Jesus replied. Do this and you will live. But he wanted to justify himself, so he asked Jesus, and who is my neighbor? In reply, Jesus said, a man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when he was attacked by robbers. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road, and when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. So too a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he traveled, came where the man was, and when he saw him, he took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day he took out two denarii? and gave them to the innkeeper. Sorry. And gave them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and when I return, I will reimburse you for any extra expense you may have. Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of the robbers? The expert in the law replied, the one who had mercy on him. Jesus told him, go and do likewise. And then there's just two little paragraphs and then we're done with Luke 10. This is at the home of Martha and Mary. As Jesus and his disciples were on their way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened her home to him. She had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet listening to what he said. But Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. She came to him and asked, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do all the work by myself? Tell her to help me. Martha, Martha, the Lord answered, you are worried and upset about many things, but few things are needed, or indeed only one. Mary has chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from her. So you got the Mary sitting at the feet of Jesus, like trying to learn and, you know, have a conversation with Jesus and then you got Martha running around like crazy trying to be the good host hostess and like prepare food and make the dinner and all of that and she's like I need help in here you know and so there it's like that's that's both true you know you want to but Jesus is redirecting Martha and just saying just right Let, let's just talk like you're, you're worrying about things you're getting upset about things that are not important um mary can see what's more important be like mary so probably hard for martha to hear at the same time jesus is <laughs> making a valid point so i actually have a picture from a church that has that scene so that's cool. Anyway, that is it. Talk to you later. Bye.